Hello everyone, this is Janice with Cricutology.blogspot.com and today I'm going to be showing you how this card evolved in my mind. It started out as a very simple card and it just literally took off in my mind with just everything that I've added to it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, this is from the image is from the Nursery Rhymes Cricut cartridge and I never knew that I was going to ever like this cartridge but it's this image right here the third image the cow jumping over the moon so cute um, and the shadow that's it it's just two layers and that's it and then the background paper the pattern paper I should say is this sheet from the My Mind's Eye um, Antique Dots. Oops. And then the yellow paper is from one of the Recollections packs. Okay, so let's get started. All right, now this second card is gonna, this is the one that really evolved in my mind and went nuts. Even last night in my sleep, I was getting ideas. Um, so here's the image, and last night when I put this together, the pieces together, or cut them out, I thought I would um, run the whole image through the Swiss Dots embossing folder. And this is actually, the paper I used for this is, um, what do you call that, Coordinations, okay? which cuts amazingly in the Cricut cartridge. I went through probably two sheets of the recollections and it didn't cut very well. So um, for this cartridge, I recommend cutting things large because there are lots of little details in the cuts and using good quality paper, okay? So after I ran it through the Swiss dots, I used my mustard seed distress ink, this bright one, and I just went over it very very lightly and gently just to catch the little bumps and then I use some stickles the just the yellow plain yellow stickles to accent the little stars and um, I put both of these things on dimensionals okay very very flat ones this is actually on a roll dimensional tape I guess I should say foam tape and um, let me show you how this glue from the Rubber Cafe works. You can go to www.therubbercafe.com if you're interested in checking this glue out. But there, there's so many things that you can do with it. And one of the things is, is that you can, you know, instead of using a glue pen or something like that, she, Melissa says that this glue does not clog at all. Okay, so I'm just using a pen, I mean a, a little brush, just a regular, didn't get this from any special, I don't know where I got this brush, I've had it in my arts supplies, you know, I was a teacher in the classroom before I started homeschooling, so I have all kinds of things like this, and I'm going to use a little bit more, she says her, she never, um, covers this glue with the cap. She just leaves it out and it doesn't clog. So that's very interesting to me because, you know, we're always having clogging issues. And so anyway, you brush it on all over. I'm just doing the moon. So I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I learned from her, just from watching. I didn't take a class or anything, just watched her at their booth, and she is so entertaining. I hope she starts doing videos, because she's a hoot. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take, and she just did it with her hand and just rubbed the glitter. This is actually called Prisma Glitter. It's from Close to My Heart. And she just said just rub it with your hand. Look how 
shiny that is. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to move this aside and carry on here. Okay, my hands a little. I have a hard time being messy. I just want to go wash my hands. Now, um, she also said whatever you use this glue with, like you can also use it on stamps, which I won't show you right this second, but you see, you have to wash whatever you use. Like I'm going to go wash that brush right away so it doesn't get messed up with the gluey -ness. Okay, so now I'm going to take these off. I wish I had done it beforehand because this takes forever. Yeah, so you can actually, I'll just tell you, and then we're going to do another project doing this very um, process, but she, um, she showed us how you can brush this glue on the back of one of your stamps and then stamp it down on your paper and then take your glitter and um, you know sprinkle the glitter over it and so that replaces the glue pad if any of you are ever and have ever used that I, I've never owned one but she said she showed that and wow it was really neat so like you could just totally make your own glittery background paper. I'm going to try it. I bought a polka dot cling stamp from Michaels. They were 40% they are 40% off this week of um April. Let's see. April 10th. The week of April 10th. That's today's April 12th. 2011 and um, they're 40% off right now at Michael's so I got it and I'm gonna be trying that out okay so there we go okay and then oh mercy me there is more there are more dimensionals on the back of this because I really wanted to dimensionalize it okay so here's our papers and I wanted to do corner rounding, quarter inch side. It's going to do, actually, let's go ahead and fold this. And this is just an 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock cut down at four and a quarter. And we're just going to corner round all of the corners at once. Okay, and then um, this sentiment, I love you to the moon and back is so fabulous. I love it. That is something my son and I have said to each other for a long time. It, it's from a book, a little book that we have. A little bunny and their mother, mother and they try to outdo each other as to how far their love goes. So anyway, and I saw this on the Scrappy Moms Kids Incorporated set. That was the one sentiment that I absolutely love. I love all of them, but that's my favorite. Okay, and then we're going to put this ribbon here to the side. Of course, I like them to the side. And my tape dispenser is elsewhere. I was wrapping my son's presents and I didn't bring it back. Running out of time here. Quickly, quickly. I'm not going to adhere it down. I'm just going to show you what it's going to look like. All done. I'm going to set that on top. This needs to move up a little bit, but and it's going to go off of the card like that okay so that's it okay thanks for watching bye